welcome back to the big fat psychic channel i'm so pleased to be reading again for you today okey dokey uh, i'm still listening uh, to my uh, adam's family and uh, all like that for halloween oh can't wait okay going straight in guys straight in uh true or false uh you know uh, did uh eugenie uh ask harry uh to move to uh portugal No, uh, I won't trust that uh, for a start, okay? I said this uh, was not true uh, simply because uh, she's meant to be uh, coming over and spending more time over here. Um, and also, uh, you know, she doesn't, uh, you know, she doesn't trust them. She's considering slowly, slowly, slowly uh, about the idea uh, of coming uh, to be... Uh, a senior working working royal. No, she might have, you know. Uh, she all she's guilty of is, you know, uh, taking Harry sad and and trying to look after him uh, and trying to be there for him. Uh, and you know, for a, a while uh, that that worked. But when it, you know, what happened is uh, Eugenie uh, will have said something to Harry, and Harry said something back to Meghan. Or, you know, uh, Eugenie said no to, to Megan. It's all it takes. Uh, and then uh, the gloves uh, are off. So, yes, I do see her coming back. I was looking at Frogmar the other day. Uh, I wanted to see if she was going in uh, that. But, I don't know, <laughs> rightly or wrongly, I got Beatrice. Is Eugenie aware that Megan and Harry uh, uh, and Ardoria? Uh, have purchased, uh, you know, a property uh, from a uh, husband's uh, complex. <sighs> she was as shocked as anyone uh, to find that uh, out uh, as well. You know, uh, I told you another fluff piece. If you check uh, carefully uh, in uh, the media, uh, you will find uh, it's, uh, you know, allegedly uh, bought a house, uh, you know, may uh, choose to uh, do this. So, uh, you know, I cannot, and I, I tell you now, uh, she's uh, not uh, happy, you know. How does she feel about uh, Harry uh, and Meghan putting out uh, that they've bought a, a house in Portugal? Uh, and in, so, like, uh, included or dragged into it, uh, her husband's uh, business. You know, how does she feel about them doing that? So I think I, I think I, this is a husband, okay. So in, in a way, uh, it, it was quick uh, and maybe a bit of free advertising, okay. Uh, that's the uh, blessing of it. And that Harry, uh, you know, never spoke to her uh, about this, uh, you know, in the past when he's uh, spoken to her. How does uh, she feel? Kind of feel like she's used to it, okay? She uh, knows uh, their game. Could it be that, you know, uh, she thinks Harry uh, and Meghan in a way have done her husband uh, a favour because now everybody's uh, looking uh, to Portugal uh, and for those uh, type of uh, houses. They also know she's travelling uh, a lot more and intending to stay more in the, the UK. As Eugenie, uh, you know, I told uh, Harry in some way that, or let it be known, that they're intending to spend more time in the UK. Absolutely. You know, uh, absolutely. I am 100% on this.
they say ideas you know that will go ahead ideas to in the future to to go ahead with this and uh you know uh spend a uh, more time uh in the uk so uh, as one is out uh you know these two uh, are in <clears throat> how does harry feel about uh eugenie uh being uh included in this uh you know crock of shite how does he feel about getting her involved yeah look you know he's not happy uh about it that's why you know uh eugenie and harry uh they're on the same uh level of understanding you know uh goals for the future so he's not happy uh at all and he didn't want to uh you know it want him uh wanting to bring her into it uh so it's just a, another way of uh, trying to put a, a chip in the armor uh between uh harry uh, and eugenie how did uh megan you know why did megan uh include uh drag eugenie into this Again, she's aware of the fact uh, that, you know, Eugenie is coming uh, into the fold uh, of the senior working royals and she's going to be more active, uh, more supportive uh, to uh, King Charles. Okay, why would Megan be upset, uh, you know, with Eugenie uh, and Charles? Because, uh, you know, she doesn't know things. Uh, she doesn't get told anything uh, anymore. Uh, Eugenie has uh, stopped, uh, you know, uh, seeing uh, things. She, you know, Eugenie, it took her a while, bless her, but, you know, uh, she knows what uh, Megan uh, is all uh, about. So she hasn't really been uh, told anything. Okay. Uh, what what role will Eugenie play uh, for King Charles, please? What role? I, I think, you know, discussing uh, a lot of poor decisions here uh, that have been made. I get this sense of her wanting a uh, having a complete turnaround, but you know, innocently as well, genuinely. I think she wants to uh, demonstrate, uh, not prove, just demonstrate uh, to King Charles that you know uh, she does know that we poor decisions uh, have been uh, made. Eugenie can't have liked uh, this. Okay, uh, Harry and or uh, Meghan uh, has put a spoke in it, you know, trying to cause uh, trouble uh, between the king uh, and uh, Eugenie. And she feels it's very, very important uh, to make him aware of the, the fact that these are her decisions or, or actions uh, whatsoever. I mean, it's been quiet, hasn't it, between Eugenie? Uh, Harry and uh, Megan being seen together. I mean, you know, anyone can make up a, a phone call or, you know, it's just outrageous, honestly, R outrageous. How does uh, Megan feel about moving uh, to Portugal? I really don't think uh, she's going uh, anywhere. 
you know uh, she's at home that's her, her family she's not going to leave uh, Montecito she's not going to uh, leave uh, you know uh, the the US she can't be uh, you know uh, uh, she can't be a wannabe queen in Portugal, you know, uh, she wants to be it in uh, the US. So what does uh, Eugenie's uh, husband uh, feel about uh, these uh, announcements uh, from Harry and Meghan about going to Portugal and buying a place? You know, sales of uh, shot for uh, the real thing inquiries. Uh, you know, uh, his properties uh, are getting. I know you say him and uh, there's other groups uh, as well. Uh, but you know, for for him, uh, it's generated a lot of potential business. So that's why he was uh, quite happy uh, with that. If it had been expecting it, then, you know, you'd have got a uh, uh, different card. So the fact that, you know, it's uh, come out uh, the blue so suddenly, so quick. How does uh, Harry feel about living in Portugal? So he, he maybe likes uh, Portugal. Uh, actually, I just feel like, uh, you know, before he does uh, anything, uh, he would have to uh, sort out uh, what's going on with, uh, you know, uh, his visa and everything else. So, um, you know, he would fancy, uh, you know, the quietness of it all. Uh, the fact that photos cannot be uh, published without uh, the person's consent. So he would love that in a way. I think Africa's more his thing, but, you know, he, he would, uh, that would be a soft landing because it's not where he, uh, he wants to be. And I feel like, you know, uh, wait, he, he doesn't know what to do, does he? Uh, uh, how can you make a decision about where you're going to live if you don't, uh, if you haven't been told you have to move? You know, I don't believe uh, Portugal would be the place uh, that he would uh, move to. Only because I know it's got a, a load of benefits for him, but with uh, Megan, uh, there's no way she's going to have to uh, admit that she's uh, getting her photos uh, taken, uh, getting drones over the house, you know, uh, pissing off uh, their neighbours. So I think, you know, uh, yeah, it was a, a shock uh, to Eugenie. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's come out rather well for her. What will be uh, the outcome, please, for uh, Megan uh, with Portugal? It's just all about the online drama, you know, uh, the scam jam and everything else uh, as well, the book, uh, all that crap, you know, it's just out uh, there uh, for drama. And that's what she wants. She doesn't want to be there, but she wants it talked about, uh, you know, and it all uh, going crazy. What's the outcome for uh, for Harry then uh, in this regarding a move uh, to Portugal? He's going to stay where he is, you know, uh, stay where he is and, and wait for the uh, outcome. You know, first of all, he, he's waiting for the election um, uh, and then it'll be uh, what happens uh, afterwards. So Trump, uh, when I say he will be fair, he will be 
fair he's not going to favoritize anybody he's not going to uh, set harry uh, apart from uh, others and give him special treatment but you know uh, the one side is uh, exposing yourself uh, and doing all this uh, and then the other is how it, it impacts uh, on your children Okay, so uh, so Eugenie then, Eugenie. Oh yeah, um, what's the outcome for Eugenie uh, versus uh, Meghan Markle? <coughs> Don't think this is uh, intentional. Uh, that this uh, has occurred because she's genuinely uh, surprised, look, and, uh, you know, uh, not being trusted. So I kind of think uh, there is a, a plan there and she's uh, quite happy uh, with that. You have to say, as Eugenie uh, gets older, she gets more beautiful okay that's that i think that's uh, the word uh more more beautiful so and i suppose that comes with age and you know wisdom and uh knowing yourself what works what doesn't but in a way she's excited uh, for announcements uh, that will uh follow uh, and that is uh, Eugenie uh, coming in and, and doing a bit more and helping out on a uh, engagement. So whether uh, you know it's a a, a full on recruitment or uh, you know just uh, seen as a support. Okay, so she's gonna continue with her plans uh, no matter what. So uh, whether Harry and Meghan move into uh, Portugal does not actually uh, affect her. And for a start, she knows that it's not true. So, um, so yeah, she's got a, a plans in the UK uh, for, to support uh, the royal uh, family. Okay, okay, guys, uh, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I will be back soon uh, with another reading. Okay, bye now. Bye bye.